Hi guys, welcome back. Matt back here with another tutorial, and today we're going to be uh, we're going to be looking at adding the GUI for the score. Um, now, what that's going to be doing is basically just adding a little score up here. Um, it's always going to be there in our shot. Now, I've already added it to the script, and it's a very little bit of script because there's a couple of other things I want to cover in this episode. So. First of all, I just want to delete the debug log because we don't need it to keep coming down there any coming up down there anymore. So on Joe move when we collide with um Kel, we want to uh just 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 get rid of that bit. And then what I've added is literally these two lines, well these three lines, um which is basically function on and then capital G U I. Um and then inside the squiggly brackets we've got G U I dot label and then it's a rectangle which is 10 by 10, um, which is 10 up, ten across uh, from one side and 10 across from the other, and then it's 100 from, uh, I think it's a long, 100 away from the edge of the screen, and then 20 away from the top of the screen. And it basically just prints um, the score, at the words score with a colon, and then it also adds the score, which is our variable up here. Um, now I also added equals zero after the int, and that's um, just so it already. Uh, just because I was doing when I was messing around with it, it um, I wanted it to come up saying that. So yeah, so that's all well and good. And if we um, just come down and press play, um, it says score up in the top right as you can see, top left as you can see. And if we um, just collect our our um, Kel, then we get um, a score of one. Now that's all good. And um, if I say, for example, add a bunch more in, um, I'll just add four in, and we'll move them away from each other. Um, where have they gone? Ah, uh, yes, they're in the corner because they're all saved to be in the corner. Um, so yeah, let's just kind of dot them around and if we hit play we can kind of run around like a headless chicken trying to collect them all because they move really fast. Now as you saw just then um, it's, it gets quite hard to see them because of the lighting and I have already changed the lighting a bit to try and make it so you can see it but it doesn't really work quite as well as I'd like it to. Um, one of the main things is for that is because nothing's got a texture on it. So that's something I want to cover in this episode. So I'm simply going to uh, create just some colours as squares and then we'll import them in and I'm going to do it all in Photoshop so you can um, see how easy it is to make a texture for an object um, and then you can basically just play around with it all you want. I'm going to make plain ones, plain like just colours. Um, so let's. I'm going to open up Photoshop, you can do it in GIMP, um, I'll put a link in the description for GIMP and um, you can do it on paint if you want, as long as it's a square. Um, so I'm going to make just a square. I'm just going to make it 500 by 5. Oh, I don't even need it as that. I'm just going to make it 50 by 50, just because it needs to be a square. And um, that square I'm going to make one of them is going to be um, that kind of turquoisey blue. And that's going to um, be for the walls. So we'll save this. Um, let's see where it is. Uh, inside here. And um, we'll save it as a PNG. And there's our crosshair from before. And I'll save it as a wall texture. One. And then we'll save that. Okay. And then we can literally uh, just make a new one. Um, I want the enemy to be red. Add the the points to be red, whatever you want to call them, um, and we'll call that uh, Kel one. I think I saved that as a P. Oh no, I did save it as a PNG. And then um, the floor, I'm going to make a kind of dark green. So everything's going to be really um, bright, uh, but so it's going to make it a lot easier to see compare from each other. Um, so we'll save this one as floor 1. Okay, so back into Unity um, we, go, we can go Assets, Import New Asset 
and then uh, find our uh, let's see, create a thing, Photoshop, and then I think we have to select them individually. So we'll import each of them as they are. Um, so we've got green, red, and then blue. And then on our Kel, we're going to just simply drag um, drag him onto there. And then all of our Kels go red. And also with our wall, we can do it. Um, where's our wall texture there? So all of our walls go turquoise, and then our floor, we want to be green, so we drag our floor there. So now, if I hit play, um, they're all moving around, and it's a lot easier to, to see where they are. And although everything's still fairly fast, it's kind of how I want it to be. Um, so you're kind of chasing them around. Um, and you do quite often jump over them and miss them and things. Um, and yeah, so... That is uh, about that, about all I'm going to cover in this episode, I think. But um, so, yeah, so you can, you guys can play around with the colors and the textures and um, make whatever you want. You can make it as detailed or as simple like this as you want. Um, and one other thing I did say I wanted to do, which was just kind of play the game for a bit. So let's just kind of duplicate these Kells. Um, some more and we can um, just play around and see how our game is coming on and it, I, I feel like it's going pretty well um, at the moment they're all at the same level so you do have to jump for every single one but you don't ha you don't have to keep it like that um, so then I think next episode we're gonna look at adding sounds um, for every collection and I am going to um, make my own sounds um, you can make them um, I'm also gonna I think probably not next episode but in an episode after then um, I will look at making uh, music for it as well um, and also we can add different rooms different shaped rooms you can have if, if you want to already you can before the next episode you can um, put your own rooms um just make sure everything's tagged all the walls are tagged as walls and then um so the game will know um so the the so the kells will know uh, to dodge them but other than that um I'll see you guys next time <laughs>